Apollo 4 was launched on November 9, 1967 at noon UTC from Launch Complex 39A at Cape Canaveral. It was the first test flight of the mighty Saturn V, the largest rocket ever launched. After the Apollo 1 disaster in January of the year, the program had essentially been stalled in the midst of the investigation. While crewed space flights would still have to wait another 11 months before resuming with Apollo 7, this uncrewed launch kept the Apollo program on track, or as much as it could be, given the circumstances. Technically, this test was a year late, but considering the difficulties in developing such a rocket, that was understandable. Also, in the wake of Apollo 1, the command module on this mission was found to have many defects, especially bad wiring, and fixing those took four months. Unlike many first tests of rocket systems before it, the Apollo spacecraft and service module and all stages of the rocket were fully functional. Not only that, but the third stage placed itself into low Earth orbit and then relit just as it would for a transfer to the moon. Instead of making an actual lunar transfer though, it got itself to an apoapsis above 17,000 kilometers and a periapsis of negative 200 kilometers, ensuring a fiery demise. After that, the Apollo Command and Service Module separated and did two service module burns of its own, roughly simulating a lunar orbit insertion and Earth return burn, placing itself on a return orbit with a re-entry speed equivalent to that which would be experienced when returning from the Moon. The entire mission was successful and the Apollo spacecraft splashed down as planned near its recovery ship. During the mission, the second stage had cameras to record the separation of the first stage to ensure that it happened correctly ejecting the cameras for recovery shortly after the staging. That recording of the staging is often used in Apollo media. The command module also had a camera that photographed Earth. Apollo 4 relieved a lot of the pressure on the program after the tragedy of Apollo 1, but its success was a bit deceptive, as the agency would learn in the second launch of Saturn V, Apollo 6. With that, thank you for watching this mission profile of Apollo 4.